What's the difference between a patent attorney and a patent lawyer? This video is gonna explain the difference between the two, if any, and also explain some other patent professionals such as patent agents, patent examiners, and patent scientists. So if you're new to the channel, my name is Dylan Adams. I am a patent attorney and author of the best-selling book, Patents Demystified, which is an insider's guide to protecting ideas and inventions used by inventors, entrepreneurs, and startups worldwide, including top universities like Harvard, Stanford, and MIT. You might also recognize me from being featured on uh, the CNBC's hit show, The Profit, with Marcus Lemonis. So uh, my channel here is dedicated to giving you the insider tips on how I help my uh, clients such as Shark Tank winners, startups, and Fortune 100 companies protect their ideas and inventions. So be sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon so you can get more information on patents and startups. All right, so let's jump right into the information. So for someone who holds themselves out as a patent lawyer or patent attorney, let's kind of first talk about who these people tend to be and what they're able to do for you. So somebody who says that they are a patent lawyer or a patent attorney, that's gonna be somebody who has passed the patent bar and is also an attorney or lawyer. So there's two things that have to happen for somebody to be able to say that. So one is they have to have passed a state bar in any one of the 50 states, which makes them a, a lawyer or an attorney, okay? That's the first thing. Then to be a patent lawyer or patent attorney, that person has to pass what's called the patent bar. And the patent bar is a special bar that is separate from any state bar that specifically allows people to re represent clients before the United States Patent and Trademark Office. So for somebody to be eligible to sit for the patent bar even, they have to have a technical background. The reason is, is because somebody who represents clients before the USBTO, it involves technology and the people who are representing clients, they have to know the technology as well, if not better than the clients do. So that's why there's a requirement to have a technical background. So for me, for instance, my undergraduate degree is in biochemistry and molecular biology. I have a master's in electrical engineering and that's what allowed me to sit for the patent bar and to be able to hold myself out as a patent attorney. So is there really any difference between a lawyer or an attorney or a patent lawyer and a patent attorney? Effectively, no. And so, you know, I would say, you know, in the field, really, you know, those terms can be used interchangeably. There may be some sort of technical difference, but if there is, I am completely unaware of it. Um, but the, the, the common usage is patent attorney. So for instance, the USPTO, they refer to folks as patent attorneys, not patent lawyers. But if somebody holds themselves out as a patent lawyer or a patent attorney, I would consider that to be effectively equivalent. But there are some folks that you should know as far as what their names are that are completely different, that there are big differences. So one is patent agent. Now what a patent agent is, it's somebody who is not a lawyer or not an attorney, as in they haven't passed the state bar, but they have passed the patent bar. And that's one interesting thing about um, practicing in patents is that there are people who have technical backgrounds who qualify to uh, sit for the patent bar who aren't attorneys, and those people are known as patent agents. Now, is a patent agent worse than an attorney? Well, it really depends. Patent agents, of course, they aren't attorneys, and so they can't represent you in a legal capacity. They can only represent you before the United States Patent and Trademark Office. That may be a good thing, that may be a bad thing, um, but it's something to keep in mind when you're hiring somebody who's a patent agent. They're not an attorney, um, so they, you know, they can't do things like contracts, they can't do litigation, and they don't have the experience of having gone to law school. In some ways that can be good because they may cost less per hour and that could be positive. Um, so, you know, patent agents versus patent attorneys, you know, it, it totally depends. Um, at my firm, we have a lot of folks who are patent agents um, and they do very similar jobs to what the patent attorneys do. Another term that people get confused about is patent examiners. So a patent examiner is, is a totally different sort of person. A patent examiner is an employee of the United States Patent and Trademark Office. Patent examiners, uh, they, they, are, they are folks who you file a patent application, the patent examiner receives it and does a prior art search to determine whether what you have claimed is new and non-obvious. So patent attorneys or patent agents, they will work in opposition to patent examiners. And when I say in opposition, I don't necessarily mean that it's gonna be always adversarial. A lot of times it can be a you know, very close working relationship but it's definitely you know kind of on a on an opposing side the patent attorney is trying to get the broadest claim protection for their client they're trying to get a patent application issued as a patent whereas the patent examiner they have to make sure that the patent applications uh, meet the requirements of the law and the main one is it 
is the invention as claimed new and non-obvious compared to the prior art? And really the statutes, what they say is, you know, a person is entitled to a patent unless it doesn't meet the statute. So there are obviously, there, there are some patent examiners who are really strict and they they feel like, hey, I need to stop people from getting a patent. But a lot of times patent examiners, they are on the side of the applicant and you can have a good relationship with them and they're trying to help you get a patent. They just need to make sure that it meets the requirements of the law. Another term that you may hear is patent scientist. Um, and there's a lot of folks like this who you know, have, have strange, uh, strange names. Patent scientist is at least what our firm call, calls folks who they aren't attorneys and they actually haven't passed the patent bar. But as somebody who has a technical background and maybe is studying to become an attorney or maybe is studying to take the patent bar but hasn't yet done that. These folks can be really great because you know they're good technical writers, they know about technology and we can teach them about the law, we can teach them about um, representing people before the, before the United States Patent and Trademark Office. And so what we'll call them is patent scientists. That's sort of a way to say that somebody hasn't pat, uh, passed a state bar, so they're not an attorney or not a lawyer, and they haven't passed the patent bar, so they're not a patent agent, and then of course they're not a patent lawyer or patent attorney. Th that person would be a, a patent scientist. Um, so those people, they don't tend to actually represent people on their own. Like, so for instance, you know, I'm part of a, a fairly large firm. We have uh, close to 600 attorneys, not all of them patent attorneys. Um, we do all sorts of, you know, all, all sorts of law, but at least in our practice group, we have people who are patent scientists and they will uh, support patent attorneys by doing technical writing um, and things like that. So those are a bunch of folks that you will run into in the patent field. So patent attorneys, patent lawyers, that's effectively the same, but not the same as patent agents. Again, those are folks who, who have taken the patent bar and passed the patent bar, but aren't lawyers. Um, and then there are uh, patent examiners. Those are folks at the United States Patent and Trademark Office. They are employees. They are the ones who work in opposition to uh, patent agents and patent lawyers. Uh, and then there's patent scientists, like I mentioned, who haven't passed the patent bar and uh, who aren't lawyers either, and typically help support uh, patent attorneys or patent agents. So uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell icon to get more on patents and startups. And I'd love to hear uh, your, your comments. Uh, did you, did you, were you surprised by this? Did you think that there was a difference between attorneys and lawyers? And do you, you know, is there any difference you're aware of? Because honestly, I am not aware of any difference. Uh, I would use the terms completely interchangeably, especially when it comes to, uh, to, to, to patents. I mean, there's really no difference. So um, also let me know if you have any good ideas for other videos. I'd love to know the stuff that you have questions about, um, the stuff that you're interested in, uh, leave a comment down below. Uh, thanks again for watching and we'll see you again in the next video.